everybody, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A. You ask the questions in the comments section underneath this video on YouTube. And if you use the Ask Mark hashtag, then I and other scuba diving magazine subscribers answer your comments so that you can get an answer as soon as possible, but as soon as I can, uh, because I still have a bit of a backlog after a two week diving course that I was on, um, I turn that question into a video that might hopefully better explain and answer your question. And others can learn from your questions as well because there are no silly questions uh, in scuba diving. Today I'm answering a question from Alfrey about modifying spools. So Alfrey says, hi Mark, I recently bought a new spool that has a lot of XS line. The end of the line is set up perfectly, hence I'm wondering if there's a way to trim the excess line from the end which attaches to the spool. Yes, you sure can. Uh, depending on the length of the line, it can be quite time consuming and you run the risk of tangles because you're just... So it's best to stay as organized as possible. But it can be a good thing to of course check that the spool attachment point is actually attached to double check it's really tied on and it's tied on well. Uh, so yeah, you can take some slack off there if you want. Um, there are some um, things to, um, uh, to sort of take in mind. So yeah, if you have the, the leader, uh, which is this section um, set up really nicely, then yeah, I'd be quite reluctant to, to undo all of that and start from scratch. But to unravel a, a 40, 60, 100 meter line, you're gonna quickly get some tangle points. So it's best to have a um, some kind of setup. I tend to use um, chairs. If you have two chairs, sit them opposite one another and kind of loop them backwards and forwards just so it's a bit neater. Um, because after you're paying out all of this line, when you then go to wind it back on, it's very easy for it to start tangling. Um, but yeah, pull it all off and um, uh, make sure it is all in good condition. Tie it onto the spool in the center. I used to have an empty spool. Uh, I don't know what I've done with it. Um, if I find it, I'll, uh, I'll show it in, uh, in B-roll footage. And yeah, you just, it is just a spool. Make sure it's tied on nice and securely so that should you drop it, I've done it before, uh, right at the end of the dive and it was a really cold dive, I had clunky gloves on, I'd send up a, a DSMB, I get back to the uh, to the ladder, I'm securing everything and I fumble the, uh, the spool and the spool just disappears down into the depths. And I'm like, ugh. And back on... Um, back on the deck on dry land, I, I start to like wind all of this line back up. And I think it's like a 30 meter spool on this as well. So you're winding it all back up and then luckily the, uh, the spool comes back up with it. Then of course you have to wind it all back on. It's much easier if you're doing it at home, you can get, um, I can't remember what the exact term is, but if you're using a drill in wood, you can get these flat um, uh, drill bits. If I find out what they're, they're named, I'll put it down here. And you can get some that fit in there quite nicely. And then, yeah, just on a, a relatively slow speed, because if you go nuts, it'll um, uh, you'll get even more tangles. Uh, just, just fit it onto a, a power drill on the slowest um, sort of function and and that will just automatically wind it back on. Because if you do it yourself, unless you've got a lot of time to kill, it's quite time consuming, especially if you've got a, a longer reel. Um, but yeah, you, you, you totally can. And it is worth it, especially with a new spool, uh, just to double check that the actual spool itself is attached to the line um, because it's less often nowadays. Uh, it used to be a relatively common thing where it wasn't actually attached. So if you did fumble it, you just lost it. Uh, that's why a lot of divers like these cheaper plastic spools because if you lose it, it's not the end of the world. They're not that expensive to replace. Um, 
But yeah, if you're buying a spool like this, they typically have just far too much line, so you can't actually access these holes on the side. Um, if it is really packed up to the top, then yeah, it's worth taking off a good few meters. Try and measure what you're taking off so that you do know exactly how much line is on or left on the spool. Um, that's another reason why two chairs can be quite a good um, idea because if you have them two meters apart, five meters apart, 10 meters apart, if you have enough space, then you can roughly measure how much is, uh, is left on the line uh, without having to one, two, three. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, you certainly can. Um, take line off the, uh, the other end. Yeah, they usually attach with a fairly basic knot, uh, nothing overly fancy. Uh, it's better if it's some kind of like constrictor knot so that it doesn't just freely spin to, uh, to begin with, um, just to make your life a bit easier winding it back on. Uh, but yeah, there's no magic to it. It is just a plastic spool and some, um, some nylon braided line. Uh, and yeah, if you've got that leader set up, uh, just nicely and it works for you then yeah I'd be quite reluctant to uh, to untie that as well uh, any other questions pop them down in the comment section underneath this video use that ask mark hashtag that will get yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video uh, otherwise head over to our website scubadivermag.com see all the like, latest scuba diving news as well as product reviews and stuff uh, we do all sorts over on our uh, on our website and subscribe to the channel here on YouTube Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.